Hi guys, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving and a good Black Friday. I got up around 7 a.m. on Black Friday yesterday and I wanted to wake up at like 5.30 or 6. That didn't happen. I got to the mall about an hour after I woke up and I got a lot of shopping in. The only reason I stopped shopping is because I literally could not hold any more stuff. So I'm just going to jump right in because there is a bunch of stuff to so I'm just going to jump right in because there is a bunch of stuff to show you guys. The first store I went to was an H&M and I got these faux fur mittens and they look like this. They're super soft. I'm going home for a few weeks over the holidays and it's going to be snowy and freezing cold so I thought these would be a good idea. And they're only $17.95 so I thought that was pretty fair. I also got a dress there and this has like a square like stitch pattern to it. And it looks like this. This was only $15 from H&M. And it has these like pleats on the bottom, but with these pleats, they kind of like come out instead of like fall straight down. So I thought that was really cool. I could wear this for like the holidays with the sweater over it or something. I thought that was a good idea to get. I'm like throwing everything on my bed so it's not all over the place. Next from H&M is a sweater that looks like this. I got this in a large just because I wanted it to be like a little bit slouchy and it was more of like a cropped sweater but I wanted it to fall a little longer so that's why I got a larger size and it's just a really good staple thing to have in my closet a sweater like this I can pair with a bunch of different things. Next are these black pants and they're kind of like stretchy pants and they have like a permanent seam down the center of the leg so it has like a fold on it and it has a zipper on the side. They also have two zippers on like the very front on the bottom in case you want to open those guys up. And these were 20 bucks. I also got another sweater and this is like a really long one. It has two big pockets on the front on the side. It falls like pretty low like right around where my knee is and then the sweater is kind of like three length sleeves. And then it has like brown and mustardy colors to it so I just thought this was like perfect for fall with the brown and the mustard yellow color. I went to Victoria's Secret and I only got one thing there and the sales really weren't that good I don't think I don't know there wasn't like a lot of signs and they had some stuff in the front on sale for Black Friday and these baskets but it just seemed like it was like pants like sweatpants and there were so many people I was like I'm not even gonna fight through to see what's in there. So I wanted some pajamas for the holidays and I was thinking of like the separates but for the separates um, it was like $30 for a top and $30 for the pants so I was like let me get a onesie because these are only, not only, it was $50 which is kind of expensive for this. I was expecting it to be like, I don't know, like $35, $40 but it was $50 and so I figured I'm still saving $10 anyway and I really like this. It has snowflakes on it, it says pink on it. And it has three snaps right here on the front and then it snaps off on the back. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this like whole thing snaps open, which is a little weird. I don't even know why that's possible. But um, yeah, I got this one. I also went to Cotton On and I only got one thing there for myself, which is this shirt. I got this in a men's small and I really like this just because it's pretty long. So that way if I want to wear a pair of leggings, my whole butt's not hanging out and I just wanted some like simple shirts that aren't completely plain to wear under like my leather jacket or a cardigan just something where you want a shirt underneath it that's really really comfortable but not like too plain so that's why I got this and I think it was on sale for like nine bucks it's full price is twenty dollars so that's a good deal I also got stuff there for my boyfriend so since I spent more than forty dollars I got a free selfie scope selfie stick thing I don't even really know but I got this for free from Cotton On. So then I went to the Lululemon in my mall and I did get one top there for myself. I really wasn't expecting them to have like any sales because they don't ever really have sales and when I went in there like two hours after they opened there was literally like one thing in each size that was it so I did find this on sale on like the regular racks and this was $29 orig originally originally uh, 48 I think so that was a good deal and it has like purpley stripes on it and it's really high on the neck on the front it actually looks super cool on I really like it and it has a regular racer back on the back of it 
Next, I went to Forever 21 and I got this hat I'm wearing for I think like $7. This jacket is my favorite of everything I bought. I got this for $44.90 and it looks like this. It's just like a powdery purple color. It has two zippers on the front and then a zipper down the front obviously. And this is actually pretty heavy. Um, it has like three quarter length sleeves to it and I've been looking for something for a long time that is like similar to this so 45 bucks I thought was a really good deal and it kind of has that like boucle type thing to it so it's really textured and I just really really like this I also when I was standing in the longest line ever <laughs> to pay at Forever 21 I saw this and this was on sale for $12 and it kind of has like a crop to it this is that like macrame I think is what this is called um kind of texture fabric to it and it's just obviously like powdery blue I thought I could dress this up with a statement necklace or something like that and it would be super cute the last store I went to was Sephora and I did get a bunch of the $10 um, like holiday package things whatever you call those but for the holidays they always do these like $10 things and it's always super good deals so I'm just going to pull everything out of here. All right. Don't drop anything. Dropped it. The first thing I got from Sephora for $10 was this caviar shampoo, conditioner, and leave-in treatment. And this is for restoring dry hair, which after bleaching my hair, it's definitely going to get dry. So I thought that would be a good thing to pick up for only $10. And then I got this little package from Tarte. It has the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, which is such a good one. I really love that. It has the Magic Blush and Magic Lip Gloss in there. So I thought that was a steal. Next, for $10, I got the Give Me Some Lip Kit. And this has glosses, a lipstick, a lip crayon. I'll show you everything in here. And this is a lot of like really, like that's full size, that's full size. I think that might be, no, that's not full size, but it's still pretty big. But a lot of stuff in here for only $10. I thought that was such a good deal. I'm really excited to try all of these guys out. And then Sephora has their own sponges finally, and it's two for 10. I took one out to try it out because I was really excited to see how I like it, and I really like these. I should probably go back for more because I really love these. Like, we all know that the Beauty Blender sponge is $20 for one, so two for 10 is such a good deal, and I really think I'm gonna go back and stock up on these guys. I did get an eyebrow pencil from the Anastasia Beverly Hills line in the shade Soft Brown. And then for 100 reward points, I got the Bobbi Brown Mascara for free. I'm wearing it today, and I really like this. It works really well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my haul video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see how I style all of the stuff that I got, check out my blog. I did put a brand new post up last night with an outfit that had a bunch of the stuff that I got in it. So if you guys want to see how I style the stuff, then definitely check out my blog. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.